What's going on everybody? It's Josh. We have Kyle with us. And we're uh we're at the Great Ohio Toy Show. Who knew that? I, I don't like that. Okay. I like whoa. I like I <laughs> yeah. just waved with both hands. Like hey guys. I'm 100 percent down with doing this. Kyle may even join us. Who knows yeah, at this point? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm down, more than merrier. Here you go. It's crazy. We're gonna do a little garage sailing today. Sailing, sailing, sailing. We'll see how this turns out. Hey! Hey, what is up, internet? Kyle here, Slapshot Toys. It was an awesome time getting to go through Toy Department. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the footage. Super excited for this together. Definitely be on the lookout for some live builds because it's gonna take quite a bit of time to look at all assembled. Hey! What's going on, everybody? It's Josh. This is a brand new video. Boy, this is out of Toy Lanta video. Yep, this is Danger Zone. Look at these. Look, $800 shoes. I'm trash. I bought it for the pigeons. Something smells funky in here. I don't know if it's the pigeons or what. Uh, when Craig called me and was like, hey, do you want a set of these? You freaking purple? And guys, I will see you later. What's going on everybody? It's Josh. We got Kyle with us, keeping his hands in his pockets. <laughs> we're uh, we're at the, the, video, great, <laughs> the Great Ohio Toy Show in Xenia. Uh, big thank you to Rob for letting us in a little bit early. It's 7.30, doors open at eight. We're gonna try to run through and get some uh, footage for you guys. Kyle's looking for some Kenner Batman toys. Sure am. Um, I feel like we can just walk in one of these buildings. Oh, we gotta uh, walk. We should in probably here. call. Okay, him. we're gonna call. So I yeah. gotta, I gotta actually go and call Rob and probably have everybody be mad at us when we walk in right in front of them. So we'll see how this goes. But I'll talk. hey, Rob, it's Josh. Um, I think we're at the front door. Are we allowed to just walk in? We paid and we have our wristband thing. So once again, big thank you to Rob. We're walking in. This is one of five buildings, and I would assume that every building's gonna be around this size. What we got? Got tons of stuff here. So I'm gonna try to get you guys and get uh get some footage in. Kyle sees spawn and he's instantly looking. Right. <laughs> I'll leave you be, dude. We got let's see, a bunch of stuff. We got James, CTS. Look at this. Already finding Lego. Welcome to the hidden side. Oh boy. I'm gonna try not to show Lego the entire time, but it's hard to not. A little Mando Battle Pack. Very cool. Got some sports cards. Oh, look. Got more Lego back there. Good lord. Um, is there anything I can't live with that? Graveyard Mystery. I got a couple of those. Okay. I'll have to remember to look at this separately, but like I said, James, CTS booth. Got some goodies. He always has some, some Actually, fun stuff. We got the Solo Mall for 325. Oh, the Mobile Come here, look at this. This is sick. I probably had this at some point, honestly. Some Halloween figures and vintage Star Wars, vintage shows. Got some Motu stuff. Very, very cool. And then I think. This That's might be his store or his company, something out of the world. It's quite cool, cereal. That mall for 325 isn't isn't terrible. And over here, we have the infamous Roma collectibles. We've got lots and lots of stuff. So, very very cool. We have some some black series. No, I appreciate it. In the Hall of Wampo. I almost, my mm. wife almost bought it for me as a gift. The I'm foil? Like, no. I was like, <laughs> I'll, I'll get here. it in the spring. Um, the turtles, tour stuff, stuff Injustice, this Storm Collectibles, so. And I'm like, no. She was Transformers? Go, yeah, but it got it's covered. But yeah, Aaron always has, that's Aaron <laughs> so right there. Um, he always has the, the coolest stuff here, man. Very, very cool. You but, know, we're right. Anyways, I'm going to try to kind of stay with Kyle and kind of like do my own thing. But like I said, there's five five buildings this size here. It's ridiculous. So I need, uh, I need to pick more booths. So here, you guys can see right there. That's I think that's the other building. 
So I just want to kind of show you. Adam Fields is over here. He's got his own little corner, which I think is really cool. Shout out to him. He's always here. You okay? Doing good stuff, so. Trying to figure out. Maybe there's something over here. Last time there was some, uh, some pretty old Harry Potter stuff here for Karina. Uh, and this was the table. Where is that? So I'm coming back to see if anything is still possible here. Let's go look at this stuff real quick. Uh, probably sold, because he has a store. So I'm assuming this stuff sold, but anyways. Got some gargoyle figures. Shout out to NECA for finally making them. So I'd imagine we'll get Demona, we'll get Lexington, and probably Brooklyn. And then I forget the other names because it's been so long. Bronx, Hudson, Broadway. Yeah, I bet we get most all of them. They said that they were given like the five more or something like that. So that would be pretty cool. I did pre-order the Goliath because if you guys do know, I love Gargoyles. Grew up watching that show. So I can't not have that in my collection with how sick those look. So lots of... Uh, Vintage stuff, we got the G.I. Joe headquarters. We got Seawolf, Dagobah playset, the official space capsule, Wizard of Oz, Haunted Mansion stuff. We're pulling in, we got some legends. So it does not look like he has any of the Harry Potter Lego sets. So, we'll still be on the hunt for some of that stuff, but I need to go catch up with Kyle. Oh, he's over there by Roma. I want to go see what he's doing. Like, so I found Kyle when we were at like uh, Roma's six. booth. Okay. He's always the man with a bunch of storm break tools. I'm thinking of um, I'm thinking about picking up Raiden because I don't have him. I have um, I have that scorpion with the flame, and then I have uh, a couple more that I got from Silent David, David James. So. I think I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna see what uh what he'll do for me on this. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it because I've been looking at him on um on like Macari and eBay and stuff. But let's look. But I What are these combatants? Why have I never seen these before? What in the? Yeah. What is it? What is that? I don't know. Fight for glory? Is that like a new horseman thing? Um, I don't think. Is that like an old thing? I don't think it's yeah, that's one of those that blew up. X-Ray X -ray Studio? Huh. I've never seen these before. They okay. look newer, like the packaging looks yep. yeah, like not like early 2000s stuff. Because they look just... Yeah, I mean, they, they, I sick, would though. have assumed that that was just Mythic Legion. Yeah, well, they definitely go with Mythics. That's crazy. I'm going to ask Aaron after this. Obviously, he'll know. Very, very cool, so. All right, ask Aaron about this and see what happens. So, we're in the next building. That's, oh look, there's Kyle. That's the building we were in. <laughs> he's, he's gonna make me cut that out, I guarantee it. But I saw this and I have to show this. Freaking Seventh Kingdom, the entire set, and it's signed by the Four Horsemen. I'm not gonna get too close, but this is, 100% something you never, ever, 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 ever see. Let alone a person. So that's incredible. I had, I had that one, that one, the hippo, and that white elephant. This is sick though. But anyways, here are some goodies. I have no idea. I'm assuming some of the, most of this is vintage figures. Oh, they have Thundercats, Puma. I think Cincy and Craig were talking about that for some reason. Oh, I think he was. Because yeah. I remember the Puma. Oh no, they have those too? Yo, whose booth is this? And why do they have... What's good, man? Look at all those. I had that. That blue. That blue one, but... Man, to see all these, they have... They must have been sitting in a vault somewhere. Wow, that's incredible. So, a bunch of uh, wrestling figures. Some Hasbro Pulse stuff. I have no idea what that is, but some cool stuff. But that's probably that, and that is probably the best find of the day so far. Just seeing those, pretty cool. Got some Joes, 
bet you won't find another set here <laughs> of either. Oh, one of those. I don't even think you would find it anywhere. Especially the entire set. Right. And those are all signed. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm 100% familiar with those. 100%. Pre Mythic Legion. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like Mythics? It's not that I don't mind them. I just, I don't know. The four horse. I used, I used to work with those guys when they rebooted the 2000 and X stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah. Next table, table number 436. Well, this is awesome. This is the the movie stars uh, Michelangelo. I'm pretty sure because it has like the rubber rubberized skin. Thank you. Those are some of my favorite turtles. A bunch of vintage stuff. I'm assuming Craig and Cincy we're we're filming for you with all this stuff because these are cool, very cool figures. Yes. Got some Beckett WWE cards. Got Lillian Garcia. We got a Carmella mat, a little relic. We got a Lana relic to 199. AJ Styles. Can't buy any more cards. Nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. Some vintage turtles on card. Craigers probably would like some of those. But tons and tons of stuff. So. Kyle and I are trying to get different videos. We'll see how this works. Do you think that it's possible we're going to have different content in these videos? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, just making sure. Because <laughs> this is going to be, it's going to be tough. But anyways, so the doors have finally opened and people are starting to come in here. We still have that to go through and then I don't know how to get to the other, uh, the other things. Do you know how to get to the other buildings? Uh, yeah. That, just just, that just go that way? Just keep going that way? You're just running there every Perfect. Awesome. Seth, look at what we found. So we found Austin. This man drove at 4.45 and it's 8.08. It's four hours for the show. Lots of caffeine. I will say, dude, this show will be worth it, I think. For sure. What are you looking for? Mostly figure arts. That's what I'm into right now. Really? Okay. Yeah. Last time it was Legends. Last time I saw you, right? Yeah, or no, you were selling your Legends. I'm, I'm cutting it down. So <laughs> I'm making it so we actually like physically have the exact same color. Oh, that's good. So it's not even People like... will love that. People will love that. <laughs> I mean, people ask if it's just it's pretty much the same video. I'm going to make it the exact same video. Just film through yeah. my that's, lens. That's what I was trying to okay, do. Okay, perfect. Right, that's awesome. Line it up. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. And then um, here we have some, some new black series, kind of. We got Quill. Quill. Yeah. Quill. We got Grief Cargo. <laughs> have some all four choppers. God, we suck. We are <laughs> really terrible. We got some vintage shows through here. We got some of the retro release three and three quarter figures and some of the new ones too. Got Mando, Incinerated Trooper, Cheer It, Commander Wolf. We got the uh, the carbonized Death Trooper. Got, oh boy, some more latest sets. Nothing that I don't think I can live without. I don't know if Karina has that one though. That could be a thing. That could be a purchase. I just got Parker that. We have the diving yacht. Got quite a bit of things. So I'm gonna try not to show too much Lego in this video. I am claiming this to be a full-on toy video. Got some wrestling figures. Splinter and Shredder two pack. I think this Super Shredder looks good. Oh wait, is this the one that looks good? No, the other one. I think the other one looks better, but with the more vibrant purple. Some animated turtle sets. All of those just look incredible. Those are very cool. And some more Black Series, the carbonized version. I just finished that game recently, like a couple months ago. Oh my god, I just hit my camera. I just recently uh, finished that game a couple months ago. It's pretty cool. A bunch of Black Series through here, though. Can't really show those, so... And on the other side, I think I see a uh, Moff Gideon back there. So we've come across some hot toys. I own that. I still have not received mine from Sideshow. I ordered it back in January. So hopefully that comes through. What do we got? Killmonger. And the movie Black Panther. And Game Thanos already have. Look at this. Premium format Joker statue. Pretty sick. Armored Batman for 375. Hmm. That's tempting. Civil War Black Widow. It's very tempting, actually. I might just have to look and see how her hair looks. Can I look? At, can I slide the the slip cover off this and look at her? Can I can I slide the slip cover off and look at her? I'm actually, super tempted by this. Well, we're in the third building, and I really feel like every time Kyle cuts, I start my clip and I say the exact same things that he's saying. <laughs> so that's where we're at. But anyways, we're in the third building. Let's see. 
some storm collectible. And that, if you're watching, is that? There's no shot that's the price. There's no shot that's the price. No way. Is it? I don't know. I have to ask him real quick. Hold on. Okay, Nat, just kidding. And for me, this is 180. Kind of looks like a dollar sign right there. That's why I got really confused. So we will be politely passing on that one. 100%. Let's see what Kyle's doing. Wow. Oh, okay. I remember this booth. Sorry, Kyle. Sorry. Oh, no. It's, it's all good. I thought I found a steal over there. Indiana Jones. Look at these. They have the dark side Anakin. again. <laughs> and they have the gladiator oh, hawk. Another shoes. Again. What is this? I think those are the Boba Fett. Or that's how they... Yeah, that's how they... Yeah, that's how they... It's quite odd. Now. They have an umbrella. I think, it's, I think it's literally to mimic a... Uh, Action figure. I would assume so. Yeah. It worked. How much did this guy? I don't even want to touch him. How much is dark side though? I'm curious about this one. Oh no price. <laughs> Six fifty. How much is Hawk? Four. Four hundred? No, I can do four fifty. Oh, four fifty. I got five fifty. Oh, okay. If you take Sorry. It, I do four fifty. Okay. Sorry, I it's really nice condition. Yeah, it was a nice yeah. yeah, it's tough to hear anybody nowadays. In my yard scene, it's kind of fun. <laughs> oh, good. Oh boy, way too many decisions right now. So we have some GI yeah, Joe stuff in this. this oh, look at that. That is very cool. Sorry, you can't see it. That is awesome. It has a bunch of like autograph stuff. It's pretty cool. And, oh boy, this guy. Yeah, this sweet print. I feel like Kenny would like this. It's pretty sick. Got artist sign prints. We got Harley Quinn. There's the cap and the soldier. Looks like Nightmare Batman. Got some Pokemon cards. We have some autograph cards here. Some Pop Century stuff. That nope. Mm -mm. Nope. That is a uh, that's nudity. I cannot. Will not show that. Some Power Ranger. Like, that, like, can you imagine this is what used to be in a Happy Meal? That's crazy. These are sick though, but I think Kyle showed all this stuff, so I don't want to refilm everything, but I saw those art prints and stuff over there. Oh, look at this. That is sick. That's very cool. Adams, action figures. We got some very old Star Wars Lego sets. Look at that. 200 bucks. But, Enough Lego. We got some wrestling figures, some AEW. We got a Marvel's Toxin. Oh, the Mortal Kombat. Is that the McFarlane ones? Yeah. Yeah. Baraka and Katana. I wish uh, Storm would do Katana. I need to possibly go back and get that Raiden. Oh, wow. Okay. Kind of forgot about that. I set it down and then the show opened up and Kyle and I started walking around everywhere and I uh, forgot about it. So. This is what, the third building that we're in, I believe? So, lots, lots. Like, look how big this building is. And there's three of these, and then I think they said there's two smaller ones somewhere. I don't know, we'll have to go find it. But this is the back side of one booth. This, this booth is super crowded. So, you know, I'm just gonna kinda keep this rolling. Cause this is how to experience a toy show. You just walk around aimlessly until you find one thing on a table that you might be interested in. And then yeah, then you go for it. So this, I've noticed this a lot. Lots of Pokemon cards at this show. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely a thing. Shannon Mary. Yeah, yeah, they're hot right now. Wow. Some slabs. I haven't seen very many slabs here. No. I think I have that. Yeah. That is one. Yeah. 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 Thankfully, I haven't sold any of my comics, really. I've just sold a couple, like, J. Scott Campbell variants, and that's it. But everything else is still s stacked away. And now, based off of Kyle's hand positioning, he's ready to record, so I am going to end this clip. Uh, I just want to show this. First of all, Kyle, my man with the fire. I frolicked in these. You sure did. Because I wear man. my shoes. You want to see creases? Yeah, creases. Well, actually, these, these probably won't crease. Look how soft that, look at this. Hold on. You ready? Look how soft. God, those shoes are sick. Anyways, back to the toys now that my heart is broken. We got uh, 
I forget what they call this Matt Hardy. They call it, he's like something, I don't know, he's got like a gimmick. No, I'm not quite sure. Oh, look who's going to be at Toy Hile. Huh. Mr. Matt. Anyways, what's up, You're not watching this video. Lots of Jurassic Park, Lost World stuff, some sweet small soldiers. Lots of cool stuff. I enjoy those. Small Soldiers was a fun, fun movie. I have no idea. There's, what is this? Yes, this is where we found Craig's thing. Yeah. It was like one of these booths. Yeah, it's back here somewhere. I don't yeah. know. Probably not going to find any. Oh, there's some unfortunate Lego sets back here. So let's see what we can look at and uh, not purchase. Another booth. Figured that Craig would enjoy these. Or, well, a lot of people would, but Craig specifically. Three dollars and sixty-seven cents to hundred bucks. We got a freaking Jimmy Butler auto. I don't know. Joey Votto. We got Nathan McKinnon. Twelve hundred for that. And we got a Scotty Pippen auto. I don't. I've never. Well, I mean, it's out of the National Treasures, and that's like a stupid expensive pack. So that doesn't surprise me. But an on-card auto, which is pretty sick. Mike Trout and then Ken Griffey Jr. But this is what I mainly want to show you guys. That's super sick. Very cool. So one of the only booths that I've seen with Hot Toys. We got Iron Spider, Endgame War Machine, Infinity War War Machine, Killmonger, Star Lord, Mark 85, Mark 47. I mean, not terrible prices, but not not great at all. I mean, Gamora for 250 is pretty good, considering what she's waitlisted or something on Sideshow. But we're in like no idea what building. This is this is a smaller building. As you can tell, but I still want to get you guys some footage. So, so far nothing for either of us. Right? Yeah, there's, there's, I haven't continued to do it. There's one thing I'm going to buy. Yeah. Just because I cannot, I cannot do Oh, so you're actually buying something. Yeah, I'm going to buy something, but it's because I can't go to two toys in a row and not buy anything. <laughs> true. Just, That's true. And then there's What's up, man? That they have at retail that I want, so. That's good. I'm going to grab it. That's a good thing. And then this is looking to be the end of this building. So, nothing here that I'm looking for. Kyle's recording, so I have to record. But anyways, look at this. This looks like a freaking festival. Got some food trucks, big open like area. Very cool. There's lots of things going on. I don't even know what building we've been through, what building we're going to. I know none of this, so. I think possibly right here is a building we're gonna go in and see what's going on. Misfit Toys and Cards. This is a uh, the last building, I believe. Yes. Here we go, Craigers. Another Ninja Turtle enthusiasts. Recorded. What do you think when you saw Carded the figures? And some other stuff. Uh, let's see, we have some more wrestling figures. Looks like some uh, Black Series clones, which is always cool to see. I think I had that as a kid. Almost positive. Kyle, you saw something as soon as we walked in here. What was it? Oh no, it was just it was. Oh, just Kenner, part of so it. Was, yep. Yeah, so was, Kyle needs to find it. You gotta find something. There's gotta be. I bought a ton of those when we went to that Hooterville card shop. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Like Good old when we were, when we were yeah. all opening cars at Double Wild all the time. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's right. I forgot about that. That's funny. There's some cool stuff. Let's see what we got here. Let's dip in here and see if we can show some stuff off. The comic pack. Those are always cool to see. And then more Black Series. I feel like I've seen more Black Series at this show than I have at any other show. Got some remnants. Some Transformers. Over here, looks like some goodies for the three and three quarter people. There's lots of good stuff over here. All the vehicles. Man, I'd be going nuts right now if I still collected three and three quarter. Man. Especially the gunship. There's all sorts of stuff. Let's look over here. We got a snow speeder. The Dagger Squad V, B Wing Fighter, A Wing. Uh, I got some vintage here and modern over there. All sorts of stuff. Uh, very, very cool to see this stuff. The Dagobah X Wing. Very, very cool. To randomly walk in by and I see shipper boxes. Cantina Collectibles. Look at what they have. They have a New Hope Leia, a Chewy, and they have a New Hope Luke. The Sideshow exclusive too. And then they have the mechanic. But man, I just had to show this stuff off. This is 
incredible find, especially all sealed. It's very cool. Adam. I got this from a very good friend of mine, Chris. Hi. So, funny story. You got, Actually, you guys saw this because I forgot I recorded it. So, I held this figure up, just so you know. I was like, yo, I want to get it. I put it down. I need to block the wind. I put it down. And I was like, okay, I'll come back. Then Kyle and I realized how massive the show was. I come back. It was sold. Then I meet up with him. I'm like, yo, what have you got? He said, I bought the Raiden. I said, did you get it from Aaron? He said, yes. I said, well, shit. This is all good, though, because the homie got it. And then he goes out to the car and hands me this. So now... I think I'm gonna go by the Sub Zero. Is that a thing I should do? Definitely. Definitely. Based off yeah. of what we just searched. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It actually ends up being a good deal. So Nat, I know you're watching this. I'm sorry, but I am purchasing this. So we're uh, wrapping up the show. I'm gonna show you guys. I don't think. Well, you put out your videos earlier than I. Oh wait, we're premiering well, yeah, at the same we all, time. We all premiere at the same oh, time. Oh, I forgot I was doing that with this one, dude. I never tell about the sweet spot thing. The last video didn't do it. This video forgot about it. So if everyone's watching from the sweet spot premiere was good anyways um i'm probably going last in this whole like video thing so i'm not spoiling anything but once again thank you to chris for raiden and then i had now sorry for the 14th time i apologize but i had to pick up the sub-zero it was a good price the dude uh actually gave me a deal on it and kyle will you graciously show sure. what black hole you fell into today sure <laughs> Even though people have already seen it, because technically this is the same right. video. So I got Baraka. And then cool. I, I, uh, I got the bloody one from uh, David James. Also, Jamie's. I haven't, um, Dave James, Dave Jamie's? No idea. Got the 2020 Scorpion. Flip that bad boy over. Show him the... Yeah. With all the fire effects. Yeah. That's awesome. Very, very cool. So we bought a lot of Storm. We did. We got some Lego sets. And then shout out to Brian, Carvar Customs. A little shameless plug in there. This is a little uh, a mug. It's made out of foam, but I think he measured it out to where like you can put a, a, a red solo cup in here um, and just kind of use it as like a, a koozie. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Yeah. Use that. So when Kyle and I play Sea of Thieves and when people join us, this is what I'm gonna be drinking out of. And then the best pickup of the day. I want to say the best pickup. This homie right here for my birthday got me the Agnostic Front Hellbat Super Seven. One of my all-time favorite hardcore bands. <laughs> Was, oh, this is a band thing. Yeah, this, oh, okay. Yeah, this cool. is their this is their logo. Oh yeah, yeah, I so, know. That. <laughs> yeah. So I was I was debating between the the agnostic front and this misfit. Yeah. Kyle said, which one should I get? So when he picked one, so I, picked I one, instinctively was, bought the other one. Was super gracious and thank you, <laughs> thank you so much, man. No I problem, dude. It's a happy year. I early late same birthday. No idea. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go get some food now. So I don't know if this is the end of the video. Where are we going for food? Have we? Uh, we are in really? a fairground right okay. now. No idea what is around us. I figure we can hit up a brewery somewhere in Dayton. I will figure it out. So we're gonna go there, get some food, and get a beverage, and then we'll be good to go. Just got back from the toy show. Uh, actually, I'm lying. We just got back from eating. Kyle just left. I uh, want to say a big thank you to him for hanging out for the day. Um, he's a great dude. If you guys are already not following, subscribing, whatever to him, um, Slapshot Toys. His link will be down in the description below. Um, but I will say we walked away with some cool stuff and I would like to show you guys this right now um, I'll get the Lego stuff over with first um, But we got some blind bags for Karina and the kids And then we got a couple, couple Lego sets for the kids Karina and I and then Once again as you guys saw in the, in the earlier clips big shout out to my man Chris James for this Raiden and then I had to go back um, and the guy ended up cutting me a pretty damn good deal for this Sub-Zero. Um, I have two other Storm collectibles. Actually, I actually have five others. I don't even think I've shown you guys because I just keep forgetting about it. But got these guys to add to that collection. And then I picked up some beer because we went to a Warped Wing brewery. And this is all for Karina because she loves craft beer. I do not drink like that. I, but uh, which one did I get? I think Kyle said I would like this one. So we'll see how it is. Anyways, and shout out to my man Brian from Carvar Customs. I think I should do the, you this as well, but I'm going to re-show you guys. Um, so make sure to check him out. Carve our customs on Instagram. It's all made out of phone. It's very cool. And then this actually showed up at my door today. So I had to recut. I had to cut that because I showed you guys my address. So let's redo this real quick. I just got this stuff delivered today. Um, these are actual Lego pieces, um, but somehow they made instructions to make like vending machines, arcade games. I actually had two orders um, and my second order did not come, but I got like triple this in my last order. So, 
that is uh that's that and real quick i want to show you guys what i'm working with don't mind the messiness but this is my toy room right now slash lego room it's ridiculous once again big shout out to my man seth for this hot toy but i have a bunch sitting there and then i have the corner of lego doom and then lately on twitch i've been streaming i just did a live build of this medieval blacksmith shop um that's what i am doing now so if you guys are not following me on Twitch, I think the link will that will probably be in the description as well. But um, yeah, go follow me there. I do some gameplay, but I think I'm gonna start transitioning more to that because I don't know how the YouTube audience will be on it. But anyways, um, I'm gonna end this. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for the love and support. If you did like this video, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Um, I think this is going in the Sweet Spot Network blog. So thank you guys for watching all of us. And if this isn't, I'm sorry, but we appreciate what you guys are doing for us, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope you have a good day, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever. I hope it's doing good for you. But a lot of content coming up. We have the IC Con uh, April 16th through the 18th. I'll be there. Um, and then probably some random stuff in between now and then. But I love you guys. Thank you for the support. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, may the fix be with you.